You miss it every single day. Absolutely. You must. What a very and remarkable woman. She was incredible. Yeah. And so glamorous, wasn't she? Gorgeous. She was. She was gorgeous, and um, and she was. You know, she was an inspiration to us. The way that she dealt with her cancer. Yeah. I said there valiantly and bravely, and 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 she did. And, uh, you know, when she had massive surgery, which she had to have, she was in 13 hours, when she sort of came through it looking for her lipstick, um, the doctors, the surgeons would have her up to the hospital and sort of showing her off, you know, because it was a very extreme form of cancer that she had in the right. soft palate. So it was quite a rare cancer. Mm. And, um, you know, they had to make it very clear that surgery could impair her life quite drastically. Mm. And so for a while she wasn't gonna, she wasn't going to have it. And um, eventually she met someone who had had similar surgery and thank goodness for us because we, you know, we were trying to come to terms with the yeah. fact that we had to accept if she didn't. Anyway, she came through and we had another 20 years with her. Wow, that's incredible, yeah. isn't it? That is absolutely amazing. How did Macmillan help your mum and also help you? They were brilliant. Um, obviously, my dad and my sister were up there in the northeast. Sure. I was in the northwest. I was on tour with a, with a, with a play toward, mm -hmm. towards the end. They knew, like... You know, 73%, I think it is, of people would prefer to die at home, yes. and um, but not of not you know not that many uh, are, are, are able to do so. They knew that that was Mum's wish, and um, they had also visited a hospice with her just in case she had to go there at the end. Mm -hmm. And they were wonderful because Mum had a, f a fear of of not dying at home, but they gave her a calm. They were fantastic with my dad. I think what people um, don't not often understand is the emotional support, and it's the way they were things Lorraine like I was there when one day they said to mum obviously my mum is riddled with cancer she knows the end is nigh mm. and one and the nurse the lovely nurse that was with her said Annie could you bear to tell us how you feel rather than just how are you feeling Annie it was quite obvious how she but yeah it was just a way that they really they good. have mm. because I was on tour and I couldn't be there all the time I was dealing struggling with it emotionally they were on the end of the phone to me to say look your mum talks about you constantly <laughs> the thought that she's coming to see you in Newcastle which sadly she didn't make but is, is keeping her going. You continue to do what you're doing. We're holding the fort here. And they were in amazing, amazing emotional support. We were all able to be there with her um, when she finally passed with the Macmillan, two lovely Macmillan nurses who were there with us. And they were talking us through it. You know, you might want to come upstairs now. You might want to hold a hand. You might want to say a few words. Matthew and Louis came up because um, Matty had been, had, had, had been away and they you know, they, they were there for them. So for the whole family, mm. they were marvellous, absolutely marvellous. So I'm thrilled to, you know, that the, the, the Tech Santa is going I know, to it's really raise good. money no, for it is, them. It's, it is an incredible... And I think sometimes you don't know what they do until you're in that situation. You know, you don't know what... Because they really go that extra mile, don't they? They really do. They put really, themselves really do. Out there for you, it's incredible. And, of course, we need... We need we need more more of them absolutely because it's you know it's, it's it's special training mm. but um as i say they were they were a complete godsend to, to us and to and to my mom and because my mom my mom used to be a nurse as well um a psychiatric nurse for many many years and uh, so she she loved they, they were just you know her nurse loved mum as well she right. she, she said yeah. you know we, i just love to come over and just have a chat with your mother because she's so funny and you know um Brilliant. so oh, it was a fantastic. great relationship no,